In this video, we'll be setting up WordPress on the Brainy Pi, which is an alternative to the Raspberry Pi. So without any further ado, let's get started. WordPress is one of the most popular platforms for designing websites. And I know there are a lot of people who use it for designing their startup websites, product landing pages. Many of them also run an e-commerce store on it. So there are a lot of things that you can do on WordPress. And while designing a site, it's better to have it built on a local or a production server rather than directly building on your deployment server. In this case, we'll be using the Brainy Pi as a production server for WordPress. And we will also be able to access the site directly from the internet. So let's boot up the Brainy Pi and log into it. I have created a repository on GitHub that will help you with all the steps and files required. So we have two options to install WordPress. The first way is using Docker. So if you have Docker installed, then this would be the recommended method. And this is also the easier method or else you can go with the traditional method where we install the LAMP server on the Pi using a script. First, let's clone the repository on the Pi using the git clone command. Once cloned, navigate to the ARM64 directory as we will be installing on the Prini Pi. Here you can fire up the command docker compose up d. This will create two containers, one for WordPress and one for MySQL and link them up. Once done, we are good to go. Just navigate to the Pi's IP and we have WordPress installed. Set up the required details like username and password and we have our site running within a few minutes. If you don't want to set up using the Docker, then you might want to use this method. Clone the repository and cd to the directory. Now all we need to do is run the install.sh script. So type dot slash install.sh and it should start installing. Make sure to press Y and hit enter whenever required as it prompts. Once the setup is done, we just need to make a change in the database. So log into MySQL database using this command. Let's create the database. and also create a user and password for the database and grant its permission for the database. Now we are good to go. Navigate to the IP and set the database details that we set up in MySQL earlier. Once this is done, we are almost done with the setup and there we have WordPress running on the Brainy Pi. You can now log into your dashboard and install your favorite WordPress plugins and start customizing the site. You might also consider subscribing to the channel as we put cool and awesome tech projects on this channel every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.